Alright guys, this is part 4 of our assembly for the custom PC building guide. And this is going to be a short one, we're just showing you guys how to properly install the RAM and the graphics card into the motherboard. Okay, so here we're using um, triple channel DDR3 RAM. And of course, before you install, always make sure that you're using compatible RAM with your motherboard. And it's relatively easy, as Max is going to show you guys right now. Um, you basically take the RAM chip and if you see those notches or that one notch in specific it's not directly centered and it's to one side and you basically align that with the markings on your motherboard alright guys and if you notice um, how each of these dims are color coded um, basically you always go by color when you're installing this whether you're Intel or AMD um, you might see that some of them are alternate like this or some of them there's like two greens and then two blacks it doesn't matter you always want to have um, in a kit of RAM which is essentially the three sticks together because they're triple channel you want to have the same three colors so we're gonna stick them in the green ones you want to stick them in the ones that are offset to the right first if they're alternating like this so we're gonna stick them in these three slots right here so as you saw Max he simply <coughs> pushed back those tabs around the edges lines and then he lines up the notch should fit right in snugly and then you simply apply a little bit of pressure to each of the ends and it should snap in place Alright, so the RAM's installed, that was easy. Now it's time to move on to the graphics card. Most graphics cards nowadays use a PCI Express connection lane. And to make sure that you don't have a motherboard from the Stone Ages, just check to see if your motherboard can support PCIe. As you see here, our EVJ motherboard actually has three slots. So we could actually put a total of three graphics cards, but of course for now we're only using one. All right, and this is a very simple installation. Um, keep in mind that we're not in the case yet. We're doing everything outside the case just to test first. So we don't need to worry about screws into here. All we need to worry about is the connection of the leads into the actual slot. So if you can see here, um, there's a short little segment and then a long one, and it corresponds to the short one, then a break, and then a long one right here. And there's a latch to keep it locked in. So you just stick it right on top. And it's also nice to do this on top of a cardboard box because, as you can see, the metal part um, comes down a little past the motherboard. So if you have the motherboard flat on a table, which we don't recommend, then you won't be able to fit your GPU in. Okay, so some of you guys might be wondering if the um, number of the slot matters, but you have to put it in the first one, the second one, or the third one. The majority of the time it doesn't matter unless you're using multiple graphics cards in which you're going to have to consult your motherboard manual for that. But for the majority of you guys with single card systems, it's as simple as that. Alright, so this concludes our short little guide on installing the RAM and the GPU. So check back for um, us installing the power connections and later putting the case and the build all together. Alright, all right. see you guys later.